Okay, so we did the front brakes. What about the rears? Look at these beauties. New old stock for a Vega. All the Vega brakes are becoming harder and harder to find. You can't even get rotors. Anyway, these are beautiful. They look pretty old. Look at the boxes. Those are ancient. Wagner. Up here, we've got a hose. And we've got our cylinders. So pretty much everything from the differential out will be replaced. And yes, I painted them with the caliper. Getting rusty. Look at that. Brand new caliper. Brand new cylinder, wheel cylinder. Basically the same thing. Except instead of clamping, it pushes out against the drum. Okay, whenever you work under a vehicle, don't do it on a jack because jack seals can give out and the car could end up on top of you and that would be really bad. So always secure your vehicle on jack stands. Okay, because they're not going to go anywhere. They're welded steel. If one of those welds gives out, you're in trouble. You bought some cheap jack stands. Anyway, so we got it up on our jack stands. And uh, that hard line, that's coming out, as well as this little hose that it hooks to, you see the hose? Yeah, before we get started, we're going to put a little hospital drip pan here. These are great if you're ever in the hospital, save these things, because they throw them out. But they're great for working on cars. Anyway, let's put that under there. Take a little brake cleaner, clean off all the funk. Some people use compressed air, but given asbestos and whatnot, I don't really want to put particles up in the air. Okay, we got all the old hardware off and the shoes. Here's the adjuster, and I took out the uh, pistons. We're going to clean those up with a wire wheel, maybe even paint the outer edges that aren't in the boot. Uh, same thing with these coils, we're going to, the springs have to be wire wheeled, maybe painted. Might even paint the adjuster. It looks pretty dirty. So uh, now that we get this all off, it turns out you don't have to undo anything with the e-brake. I was able to just do it right here. I mean, maybe that's tricky putting it back on, I don't know. I found the easiest way, since we're replacing this, is just to take the pistons out. A little fluid came out, but no big deal. We've got a pan anyway. Anyway, this is going to have to come okay, off. Okay, I've got the uh, old wheel cylinder off. It's held on with two little 3 8 I'm going to clean these up with the wire wheel on the Dremel and paint them. And then we can put our new wheel cylinder in. I may clean this up some more. I wire wheeled it already. Wearing a mask, of course, because who knows what asbestos is here. But just out of curiosity, it popped off the seals off the old cylinder. It's not too bad. You could probably rebuild it. But the, uh, look at the piston. You see all that gunk on it? I mean, I wiped this off already, so that that roughness would hang up, you see. It would uh, keep it from sliding smoothly. So you could wire wheel this with that copper wheel and do like we did with the calipers and just rebuild them with new plungers, new seals, new spring. It's typically what the kits come with. And that's an inexpensive way to do it. But we have a brand new one, so we'll just put that in. And then we'll know it's all clean and pure, not full of brown, rusty, sticky gunk. Okay, I've undone the hard lines to the old rubber hose. 
and I'm undoing this differential retaining bracket. So now our hard line is just sitting there. Lift it away. Out it comes. Okay, there's our old hard line. We'll compare it to our new hard line. Houston, we have a problem. This is not not gonna work. Look at the shape. This is not the same at all. There's no way to make this work. This is wrong. No. And then this is not... No. This ain't gonna work. I think we have to reuse the old lines. Fortunately, they came off without rounding, so we just clean them up. I'm gonna put them in some solvent, to get all this gunk off, and <sighs> send these back. I guess because they're no good for me. Well, so here's where we stand. It's not a complete disaster, but it's not going great. Uh, that hose is not wanting to come off up under here. It just wants to round the nut. I'm not even sure I can get it with vice grips. It's just got 50 years of rust in the threads. And the hard lines, the hard lines aren't bad. They just need to be cleaned up and reused, I think, because those nuts turn nicely. And the new ones, the new ones don't even fit. They're not shaped right. <laughs> I don't know what kind of Vega those fit on, but sure not this one. The, uh, I thought maybe at least the driver's side one might be close. Here's the driver's original. Here's the crap they sent me. Does that look the same to you? That doesn't look the same to me. It's not even... What? 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 Okay. Uh... No. Uh, no. Um, no. Eh, fail. So much for that right stuff. Eh, fail. And this one? Eh, fail. I mean, I'll give you a B minus C minus for effort but uh, I'll give you a F for execution I'm gonna clean this vacuum plate always wear a mask yeah, yeah wear your mask cause this shit's nasty I'm just putting a little um, rust dissolver on it. It's a phosphoric acid gel. I just put it on there to kind of etch it and eat the rust a little more. Put it on for about 10, 20 minutes and wash it off. And we might grind on it a little more. I don't know. We'll see how it is. Then we'll paint it and we'll put our wheel cylinder in and our new brake shoes on and our brake drum so now I just want to clean up a little bit I like to keep my work area clean because if I gotta be in it I'd rather not be wading in asbestos dust and brake fluid and whatever so let's just take a moment <laughs> Sweep the floor. Alright. Look at all this nastiness. I sure don't want that all over my legs, hands, arms, nostrils. God knows what's in it. Well, actually, we do know what's in it. Brake lining. Which, back in the day, was made of asbestos. 
So there's a high probability that these are asbestos droppings. You can see that rust stuff's really eating the rust. So we'll clean this up, rinse those off, maybe do a little more grinding, and then paint them. Okay, we painted the backing plate and the axle with high temperature VHT. So that'll be good. It should stay nice and black, no rust. Uh, tomorrow when it's cool, or maybe Friday, I'll uh, reassemble with the new hardware and the new drums. Put on our new uh, our new cylinders. I couldn't use the new brake lines; they just didn't fit. So I cleaned up the old ones. These wire wheels on the Dremel—they're totally gone. You can see that protective spiraling really eats up the little bristles. Anyway, I managed to get them clean and then I just shot them silver with Rust-Oleum. They are all cleaned up. All the gunk taken out in between the coils. For the most part, it looks like I missed a little there. Oh well, it's pretty hard to get them totally spotless, but those look great. The threads are fine and the nuts are good, so we're going to just reuse these. Oh yeah, and I need to paint these little uh, pistons. I cleaned those up with the wire wheel, but they need to be painted. And as far as the hose under here, I don't know. We may just have to keep running the old 50-year-old hose because it's not wanting to come, and I'll be darned if I'm going to destroy it trying to take it off. I may just put it all back together. The important thing is to just get the brakes working, working well. Ooh, and while we're back here, if you uh, notice the tag pretty old. Look what came. Woohoo, it's official. It's a car again. Pretty fun. Some people often ask, uh, oh, you, you cut the Rio Vava Vega, that's going to break in half. Well, no, because I have these. And these are huge frame rails that were welded into the car. And they provide a lot of strength and stability. Look at that beefy old thing and then these in turn are tied into the roll bar so we've got these rails and the hoop so we're probably good it's been good for 30 years I can't say I've noticed any problems opening any doors hey, it's July 7th I got the Vega back together this morning I got up really early at dawn and I put the new shoes in the new wheel cylinders in and the new uh, drums on and I put the old cleaned up lines back on I left the uh, center hose, I just, it was too rusted, I couldn't get it off so either I'll take it to somebody who knows a trick and have them put it on or uh, I'll just not worry about it for now but after bleeding the brakes it feels like it has pretty good pedal it should, everything's new, the seals and the calipers are fresh master cylinder is fresh and all the rear drums are completely new including the cylinders and they bled out all the bubbles it seems pretty good I mean it's a Vega so they're not long the brakes to begin with but it's about what it always had probably could bleed the fronts again but anyway I'm gonna drive it a little bit see how that goes that was the whole point was to get the brakes fixed so it could be driven again and then uh, clean it up really good, buff it, wax it, take it to car shows, and enjoy it on Sunday afternoons like I used to. How about that? Out of mothballs. Five years later. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, and a side note on the wrong stuff, uh, brake lines. They, they, they said they apologized that they were so misshapen and said don't even bother sending them back. We'll just credit you the money. So they must not be too worried about it, and I bet you they've had other complaints in the past. But I'm going to hang on to these old drums, because they don't look that bad. I think they could totally be turned, so, you know, with Vega parts getting rarer and rarer, it might be wise just to hold on to those and get them turned. Or get them turned and coat them with oil and just put them in storage. I could always sell them to another Vega nut. Anyway, yeah, fun.